With stocks still volatile and the path forward highly uncertain, some say the best opportunity in the markets now lies in fixed income. Double Line CEO Jeffrey Gundlach telling me right here yesterday that finally there's value in bonds. And our next guest agrees. He's adding selectively, too. Joining us now, Dave Albright, New Fleet Asset Management, the president and the CIO. Welcome back. It's been a while. Hey, Scott. Good to see you. Good to see you. I mean, the, the sun comes out for bonds. You got to have the bond managers on, right? This is your moment in the sun. Absolutely. It's, it's actually looking good. You know, value has been restored to the fixed income market. You know, I, I heard Jen, Jeff Gunlock talk yesterday. And, you know, when we saw coming into the year, Treasury yields on the two year uh, last November sub 20 basis points. Now we're over four. And, you know, virtually across all sectors, if you look at uh, investment grade, it went from two to five percent. If you want, look at high yield, four to eight, eight point eight. Uh, bank loans up to 7.6. Value has been restored to the fixed income market. I want to ask you about, you know, so you mentioned high yield. I want to talk about investment grade corporates, too. The sure. degree to which an investor wants to take too much risk uh, on, the, on the risk curve in high yield at a time when rates are rising, right? So the, the hunt for yield isn't as dramatic as it's been in the last 12 to 14 years because rates have been to zero. So you'd perhaps be willing to take a little more risk in high yield. Um, how would you answer that question? So with the high yield market, you know, you have to look at what, what the Fed's trying to do. They're raising rates aggressively. They're moving on inflation. They're trying to slow the economy. So we took a hard look and said, you know, who's going to suffer from that type of, of move in, in the high yield market or who's going to benefit in the investment grade market? You know, on the IG corporate front, you can get double B names uh, that you have listed, Church, Pentair, Motorola, those yielding five, you know, five and a quarter to about six percent. You're really not taking a lot of credit risk. You know, corporations, especially in the IG market, uh, you know, have taken down leverage, improved their interest rate coverage. Most companies, or if not all, have termed out their debt. The maturity wall is far behind. And you have, a, you know, I think a nice little uh, opportunity now to add some higher quality investment grade assets. Uh, from a high yield standpoint, we like to do up in quality. We've been selling a lot of the names that we thought were too risky. Those with like seven times leverage, one time coverage that would be vulnerable to inflation and a slowing economy. Names like a, a Michael Store, a, a Carvana would be another. Uh, Rocket Software I'd throw out there. Triton Water, maybe in the loan space, you know, Avia, Genesis uh, uh, Care. Those would all be vulnerable names that we'd either sold or we avoided and they were all trading at much lower levels. So definitely mm -hmm. moving up in credit quality. You're getting paid to move up in credit quality. Uh, you know, we all, something that we also thought about was adding duration. You know, if you think that uh, typically after the Fed moves three to four times, long rates stabilize as the short rates continue to go up and the curve inverts further, why not look at uh, some of the double B high yield names out there, like a, you know, a Fortescue, which is an iron ore company. You could look at Square, uh, you know, that does payment processing. Nordstrom's, which is a high-end retailer, uh, DT Midstream, which is a uh, uh, LNG pipeline in Louisiana. And then yeah. another way that we can add value, Scott, uh, you know, through adding duration, uh, is munis have gotten awful cheap. So yeah. we've looked at a lot of the uh, essential service revenue bonds, AA, AAA, 10 and 30 year, that made sense. A few that we added would be Florida, Broward County, Water and Soar, uh, Metropolitan Transportation of New York, a AA, and then uh, New York City Water. Uh, those were all at a multiple. You know, typically the 10-year will trade at about 80% uh, of the Treasury. The 30-year will trade about 90%. We were adding those names at uh, about 112 to 115% of the uh, equivalent Treasury. So great value. It's funny. I, I saw a, a Muni the other day. I think I mentioned it on halftime. 5% uh, coupon, but the, the you know 35-year duration. <laughs> so I mean, it just gives you an idea of the array of product that that's out there and, and attractive to some people because of the yield that it presents. Um, lastly, how long does this opportunity last? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, depends on when the Fed's going to pivot, and that's when you'll start to see things come back. Uh, you know, it could get a little weaker, which we we know. Um, you know, if the Fed, uh, I think they made it pretty clear that in the summary of economic projections, they're going to. Move the median dot moved higher, 4.4 uh, this year, 4.65, uh, you know, terminal rate. Uh, however, the economic forecast was, didn't really jive with that. If you looked at it, they said GDP would be 0.2 this year, and then it's going to increase to 1.2. That made no sense to me. And unemployment was only going from 3.7 to 4.4. So, you know, we have to see if they can orchestrate a soft landing. They haven't been too successful in the past. Uh, if they're going to have to pivot and, you know, uh, do an about face. Uh, then we think it's a great time to get into the fixed income market. Right now, you should be dollar cost averaging in at the current yields that we see. You know, they haven't been this attractive stack going back to 09.
Yeah, yeah, uh, that's what a lot of people are saying, uh, smart investors too. Uh, Dave, it's good to talk to you.